fun winter night. It's in our back parking lot as people continue to pull up here and donate. See you at home. Great cause as we highlight homelessness in Central Illinois here. And you can come by here all the way until 10 o'clock tonight to donate. And, and I forgot to have this. You can also text OWNWCIA to 50155 and also donate if you don't want to come by here in the parking lot. Let's talk about how cold it's going to be tonight as these winds have calmed down, but it is still very breezy with 15 to 20 mile per hour winds out there. Temperatures are down around 25, but when you factor in the wind, it feels closer to 13 degrees, and we're anticipating below zero wind chills. Then tomorrow, a winter weather advisory goes into effect. We are forecasting accumulating snowfall. We'll talk more about the snow, the below zero wind chills, and more in our back parking lot for one winter night. WCA3 News starts right now. Now on WCIA3 News. Police have made an arrest in a homicide. Why, the arrest just creates more questions about the crime. And also tonight, shootings are up across the board in one city. Who says counseling and not prison is the answer? And you've been hearing about it all day. It's one winter night. How out in the cold you can help somebody in our community without an address. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. All right, welcome back to our WCIA 3 backlot. I'm Paul Cicchini, and you are making a difference. Let's pan over here a little bit right now. You can see the cars coming through, which is good news for our one winter night and the money that we are trying to raise. Our goal is $50,000. I'm going to take a step back over to the board because I got some good news. We're a little over $30,000 now. So we moved it up. The goal is $50,000 by 10 o'clock. Very attainable. We got a $5,000 match that ends at 7 o'clock. But before we get to all that, I have a co-anchor. <laughs> yes, you do. Hi, Paul. I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Now, this is See You at Home. This is their biggest fundraiser of the year. Like you said, it is called One Winter Night. People are going to be seeing what it is like to live without an address. Yes, that is exactly right. See You at Home provides a place for people to go during the day with the Phoenix Drop-In Center. They provide education. If someone needs it, they have transitional housing. He's going And rough. joining me right now, he's just running up to the mic, is Rob Dollhouse with See You at Home. How's it going tonight? You tell me how it's going. We Man, just we just eclipsed thirty thousand dollars here. I, I am I, I'm almost speechless. I'm almost speechless. The amount of support this community continues to pour in to see you at home. The passion that folks have for serving our friends on the street, making sure that CEO at Home has what we need to keep providing all the resources, including year-round men and women's overnight shelter. Could you imagine being on the street with no shelter on a night like tonight or in a couple days when it's going to be below zero? It's unheard of. So I, I just cannot say thank you enough to this community for just showing up in a big, big way. All right, Rob, thanks. We're going to check in with you in, in a little bit. For now, we are going to toss it over to Courtney Bunting, who is in downtown Champaign, with more of these overnight box dwellers. Courtney? That's right, Paul. I'm in the parking lot here behind Hamilton Walkers, as you mentioned, in downtown Champaign. And the box dwellers, box dwellers tonight are just slowly trickling, and they've been setting up their boxes. You can see on this side of me, this is just for one person staying in this box over here and some of them also getting creative combining a few boxes you can see that one to over my left shoulder they put three together and draped a tarp over it to make sure that the heat stays in and there will be i believe an expected expecting 20 people to stay in this parking lot tonight each one of those sets of chairs represents a box that will be set up here and they'll be spending 12 hours overnight here in these bitterly cold temperatures tonight each one of those box dwellers had to raise a thousand dollars to be able to do this all going straight to see you at home an organization that as you mentioned before paul just helps these people get connected to resources if they don't have a place to stay don't have a permanent housing situation it's a great option for them and that's what we're promoting tonight for people to come out and give donate through text message go to wcia.com to get more information about how to give um, but for now i'll send it back to you paul in wcia's parking lot all right courtney thanks so much for checking in we'll see you a little bit later in the show 
know. Now, is Courtney met, well, as you can see, I'm in the back lot. Courtney was at another location in downtown Champaign, but there are several locations in Champaign and uh, in Farmer City. So take a look. The Venue CU parking lot, the old News Gazette visitor parking lot is another spot. The Christie Clinic lot on the corner of Neal and University. That's not all. There are more. WBGL's parking lot is also hosting box dwellers. Stratford Park Bible Chapel parking lot is also hosting people. The Trinity Community Fellowship in Farmer City as well. People are going to be spending all night just to get a little experience of what it is like to live in these conditions all the time. So we're asking you to give own WCIA 50155. For now, we're going to send it back to Jennifer and in the meantime, send in those donations. All right, Paul, thank you so much.